I'm Dr. Crespo from Venezuela. We're going to test the Superfiles 3 from Denko. Blue heat activated. Well, we have here the Denko Superfile, Superfiles 3. As you can see, they are heat treated and they have a blue color. This is the SX file with a high flexibility and the SX file is meant to treat only the coronal part of the canal, the coronal third of the canal. So you can see then we can proceed to use the S1 file and it's only going to treat the coronal and mid and mid part of the canal. Only those two thirds of the canal. It's not active in the in the in the tip of the file, and you can see how flexible flexible they are. Then in the in the video you are going to see how efficient are they cutting tendon. We're going to use extract teeth to show you how these files work. This is the S2. And you can see how flexible even they are when we come to the XS2. It's a shaper, these are files to shape the canal, the mid third and the coronal third of the canal. They are not supposed to be too active in the tip, but you can uh, take them to the working length as well. And you have the F1, these are the finishers. And you can finish the canal if the canal is narrow. You can finish the canal in the F1. As you can see, they are also flexible. This is the F2 for uh, bigger canals, canals with more diameter and bigger canals. And the F3, as you can see here, the F3 is also. Uh, very flexible, even when it has more mass in, in its file, in the whole file, you can see how flexible they are, even in the F3. You can find these files in F4 and F5 if you want to treat bigger canal. First, we probe the canals with files number 10, like this one, it can be neat and all, or K files, classic K files, stainless steel K files, to probe the canals and verify the patency of the canals. We irrigate the canals after each file. This is the opening file of the Super Files 3 from Denko. This is used to shape the coronal part of the canal. We use it in 300 of speed and torque 3.0. This is the way we use the, the file. We use irrigants. Sodium hypochlorite is the most used irrigant. And between each file we should use a file 15 or number 10 to check the patency to the available length of the canal. We proceed to use the S1 file, it's the shaping one file, and this file will prepare the coronal third and the mid third or middle third of the canal. We use it to the available length. After the S1 file, we proceed to use the S2 for shaping two file that will prepare also the coronal third of the canal and the mid part, the middle part of the canal. We use it to the available length. Then we can proceed to measure our canals to take the working length with a radiograph or a or an apex locator. Or we can use both to check our working length. After we establish our working length, we can start to use our finishing files, the F1, F2, or F3. 
this is the F1 and we're going to use it to the working length the smoothly with a smooth apical pressure and we should be in the working length in our third movement then we use the F2 file as this is a palato canal to the working length with the smooth apical pressure, we should be there in three movements actually. The final file in our palatal canal is the F3, and we're gonna use it apically, smoothly, so we're gonna prepare the apical part of the canal we proceed to prepare the canal with the opening file that will prepare only the coronal part of the canal. And we go to the distal canal. This is some resistance, that's normal. Remember, the, the tip of the file is not active. It will act only in the upper parts of the file. First, we use our 10 file, number 10 file, to check the patency of the canal before using the S1 file that is going to come next after this. We proceed to use our S1 file, shape in one file. This, this file is going to prepare the coronal part of the canal and the third and the, and the middle part of the canal middle third of the canal. We use it up until our available length. Then we pass to the S2 or shaping 2 file in the same fashion as the S1 file up to our available length. Two and three movements with lightly apical pressure. We never put a lot of pressure apically because we can separate files and we don't want them. After using the S2 file, we're gonna measure the canal using a file that reaches the apex. We can measure the canal with an apex locator or a radiograph. We use the radiographs in this case. After checking our working length, we use again our S1 file. We can use it and to get apically to the working length as we are doing right now. In two or three movements with a slightly apical pressure. A lightly apical pressure. After using the S1 file, we always check the patency of the canal onto a working end with a 15 file or a 10 file. And we also irrigate the canals profusely to avoid packing debris and denting into the canal. After using the S1 file and checking the patency, we use the S2 file up onto the working length. This file is a shaping file, it's only prepare, going to prepare the canal in the coronal third and the mid third of the canal. We irrigate the canal after each file to prevent packing denting into the canals and to disinfect the canals. After using our shaping 2 file or S2 file, we use the F1 file to prepare the apical third of the canal. This is a finisher, this is a F1 or finisher 1 file. 
two or three movements with lightly apical pressure. We're going to prepare the apical third or apical part of the component. Our F2 file is going to be the final file used in this distal canal, distal vocal canal. Two or three movements, we're going to reach the apex and we're going to prepare the apex. So, the final canal, the mesio vocal canal, we're going to establish patency with our 10 file. First, we're going to use the opening file. It's going to work only in the coronal part of the canal. Then we're going to use, after using the opening file, we're going to use a 15, number 15 file to check our available length to use then the S1 and the S2 up until this available length. Then we're going to use the S1 file, the purple one, to shape the coronal and mid part of the canal, middle third of the canal, coronal and middle third of the canal, up until the available length. Then we're going to use the S2 file, shaping to file, up until the available length of the canal to prepare the coronal part, the middle part of the canal. After using the S1 and the S2, we're going to measure our working length with a radiograph or an apex, electronic apex locator. In this case, we use a radiograph. After measuring our working length and establishing our working length, we're going to use the finishing file F1, finishing one file to finish the apical third of the mesh buccal canal. One, two, and three lightly apical pressure movements. We're going to reach the apex and prepare the canal. We're going to finish the apical preparation of the canal with an F2 file. We're going to use it as the F1 file. It's reaching the apical third with lightly pressure apically, this is a finishing file, our finishing file in this canal. And we're going to use it one, two, and three movements, and there we are. We have finished our preparation of the canal.